Okay, so for unit testing, we're gonna need a bunch of dependencies installed. Here is a list of all the ones we need to install. We can either install these individually or we can just go to uh, clone this directory or any other kind of hard hat directory and do npm install to install all the required dependencies. We're then gonna to need to copy the contract into a new directory called contracts. And I've also set up this test directory in the same um, give forever uh, GitHub repository. So if we copy this from Remix, paste that in and save it. And then we're gonna create a very simple um, test file here, which is going to basically test just a, a single function on that contract. We're gonna um, deploy a local version of contract and then call the charity address, which we'll call this public getter function which will return this value hopefully, and we should pass the test if the, um, the value returned is equal to this address. The other thing which I didn't mention was that I set up a .n file. Um, I've got an env sample here as well, and this is basically just a user private key and etherscan API key. It's gonna come in late, useful later once we start to deploy the contracts and we create a deploy script as well. Okay, so we've got a basic test here to check the charity address. Now I want to check um, one more thing. The first thing I'm gonna do is to check that I can actually change the charity address. And then once I've done that, I'm going to um, change the charity address to this address. I might create a constructor function for it. So if we um, create a constructor function, I'm gonna pass in and address, charity address. And then we can do charity equals charity address. Okay, we can get rid of this now. And Let's leave that in there. And we're also gonna pass in STE address as well. Address, actually change this to LIDO address. And then I'm going to Lido address equals Lido address. And finally, I'm gonna change all this STE stuff to Lido address. So that looks good. We passed in two constructors, the charity address and the Lido address. For when I'm testing on a local test network, I'm gonna pass in a charity address as the owner address. There's a reason for that. And that's because I want to check that the give forever update wallet function works. I'm gonna be creating a te unit test for that. So we're gonna to need to have access to that address. And then the Lido address, we can pass in the value, which for Gorelli, which is fine. Probably need to make a mock-up if we're gonna be doing much with it. Here. And let me check that this now equals own address. Let's rerun the test, make sure that all works and that the test is still passing. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna set this as a dress. I'm going to set up another test to check that it returns the Lido contract address. And this is that public contract address that we just set, so we can check that that is equal to Lido address. Let's run the test again and check that that works. 
Brilliant. Okay, now let's get on to testing the um, deposit function. So let's do... Accept, it should accept an ETH deposit. We're gonna do gift forever dot deposit. ETH amount is gonna be 0.01. What we wanna do is check the const donated one equals give forever dot donated. And then we're gonna add a second one, donated two after the transaction. And I expect that donated two to be greater than donated one. Let's fire this up and see if it works. <clears throat> It did not. I think the reason for this is because we haven't got the, the uh, contract actually references Lido because it's deploying it to a local test net. We haven't actually got a Lido mockup. So what we want to do is create an ERC20 Lido mock contract for local testing. In fact, let's copy this and create a new file. We're gonna create an ERC20 token. So contract, uh, what are we gonna call it? Uh, Lido. Is ERC20. And then we're gonna have this. Let's get rid of all this. We need the, it's got a submit we need, balance of should be fine, and transfer should be fine. So the only one we really need is the um, submit function and the original constructor function. Constructor is just gonna be constructor, and then constructor, ERC20. Uh, we wanna give it a name and a ticker symbol, so I'm gonna call it uh, Lido STEF and then the ticker symbol STEF. Don't want any of this in there. Don't want any of this in there. Let's save this as um, Lido mock dot so. Get rid of all our errors as well. Okay, that looks good. And then submit address referral external payable returns UN. And then what we want to do is increase the local balance on this ERC20 contract. So to do this, I'll actually have a look at the internals tracks, GitHub. So I wanna have a look at the ERC20 contract actually on GitHub before I open Zeppelin. So I'm gonna go into contracts, uh, tokens, ERC20. And what I'm trying to find out is how to update the balances. Again, this is something I should probably know, but I've I've forgotten exactly how to do it. Um, and I want to mint, I think I can mint a user. Search for mint. There we go. I want to use this internal function here. So let's get back into here. I'm going to mint the address is message.sender and the amount is message.value. So basically anyone that calls this function is just gonna have some of these tokens minted. And the point of this mock-up is just for our internal testing. It's not really to um, create a fully functional um, smart contract. 
Okay, so now if we go back to our test suite, we can deploy the LIDO contract as well. So let's do uh, LIDO mock, LIDO mock, and then LIDO mock equals LIDO mock. I don't want to pass in anything here. Then we want the LIDO mock address here yeah. and then that should in theory level variable don't need this anymore because we're not using external lido we could change this if we're going to be um, testing on the Gorelli test net but for a local test that this should work Let's run it up, see if it does work. It does not. Okay, so it should return the LIDO contract address. Should have set the deposit. LIDO address is not defined, that's actually fine. What we don't want is it to equal this LIDO mock address. Let's try it again. We should be somewhere near. Boom. Should return a charity address, should return the LIDO contract address, and should accept ETH deposit. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've got that, we want to now test the next function in the Solidity contract, which is Lido balance. Um, if we go into Lido mock, we can go into here and this should work as well. Uh, should show Lido balance. And all we want to do here is balance, give forever, Lido balance. And that should be greater than zero because we just um, submitted some tokens. Let's try that. So we can show the Lido balance. That's another one done. Withdraw function. What I'm actually going to do is add a little bit on here. Add a little bit, a few tokens on here. So we've got a surplus in the um, contract, which kind of uh, it's basically faking a little bit of yield coming in so that it works when we test it. And we are going to do should um, draw ETH to charity address. So we want to TX equal the way withdraw. In fact, we can do this by checking the balances as well. So we're going to check balance one. We're then going to withdraw the surplus. Balance two. And we expect balance two um, to be less than balance one. So I actually need these transactions, we're not using them. Let's delete them. Let's hide this up. Let's see if that works. It does not. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Get a little warning here about the referral address, but that's absolutely no problem at all. Should withdraw ETH to the charity address and the mock-up. That's all good. And then the final thing we need to test is for the 
charity address to be able to with to change its address basically. So let's take this give well contract address and let's paste that in here. So basically what we want to do is update the address once it's been deployed to a new address should should be able to update address and let's have a quick look at the function again. How do we call it update wallet new address? So we're going to use update with it. And the new address is going to be this one. So let's add this in here. And then let's check charity equals charity here. And then we want this result equal this address once it's been updated. Let's clear this, run the hard hat tests. And there we go, we've got full coverage of all the different functions within that contract, testing and making sure they all work.